Tesla is like a chess player at a chess game, which brings its chess pieces into position. Electric vehicles, software, and battery storage. And let's see how these all are going to play together if done well to benefit Tesla and their shareholders. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. Before I get started, let me stress that I am not an investor. I'm not in the stock market. I don't have any conflict of interest reporting this news. Tesla is a way ahead of the competition when it comes to electromobility, software, and autonomous driving. But where is the decisive uh, advantage of Elon Musk and his team? German publication, their actionaries, Jochen Copper, spoke to Dr. Mario Herger on Tesla's unique selling points. Dr. Mario Herger has lived in Silicon Valley since 2001. He researches technology trends, writes books, and advises companies on topics such as innovation, the Silicon Valley mindset, automotive, and artificial intelligence. Talk News looked at that interview and is sharing some interesting thoughts from this interview about Tesla and its positions with our uh, viewers and readers. Their action are speaking of tons of self-driving, actually their action are said, speaking of tons of self-driving cars in California, including robot cars, asks if these trends will only be visible here in 10 or 20 years. Dr. Marion Herger responded saying that these self-driving and robocars are already a reality. There are currently 66 companies in Silicon Valley that have a license to test autonomous driving on public roads. Around 800 cars from these providers roll hundreds of miles and collect data, data every day. Waymo, for example, has had a whole fleet of self-driving cars in Phoenix in the commercial robotaxi service since October 8, completely driverless. That means without a driver on board. Have you seen any of them if you have been in, in Phoenix? From this point on, now I'm going to tell the questions which their actioner asked Dr. Herger and the answers are from Dr. Herger. Now, the question. You keep highlighting Tesla. What does Tesla do differently or better than the competition? Dr. Herges says, the 1.2 million cars that Tesla has built so far and are on the road around the world are almost all equipped with hardware kit Kite 2.0, which includes eight cameras that allow a view around the car, plus two clips for artificial intelligence, which are produced by Tesla itself, ultrasonic and radar sensors, and the option of over-the-air software updates. Of course, someone who is very car savvy will say that the workmanship from Tesla certainly does not necessarily correspond to the standard that we are used to. That means not comparable with the quality of the German manufacturers. So what is the key difference between Tesla and its rivals? Asked their actioner. And Dr. Herger said, what many have not yet understood is the fact that Tesla, for example, makes a new software update overnight every two to three weeks and provides over the air uh, updates very often. In other words, after the update, the car can do more than before. The software has been improved. The car has learned something new, if you will. This is an advantage that many other car manufacturers have not understood for a long time. Let's compare Tesla with other car manufacturers. The moment you have bought the car and driven down from the parking lot, it's worth a few thousand euros or dollars less. But that's not the case with Tesla, because this asset keeps appreciating. Another question, what's the latest highlight at Tesla? The beta version of the new autopilot known as Tesla Full Self Driving recently came out, so the car drives by itself and it's beta right now. With a market value of $600 billion, should investor thinks, investors think twice before buying a Tesla shares at this price? It's like a game of chess in which Tesla slowly positions its pieces. 
In the end, the opponents in this case, the other car manufacturers, are suddenly checkmate. Thousands of developers will make Tesla apps. The software and the new updates provide completely new revenue opportunity in the future. Tesla does not have an app store yet. But as soon as that happens, thousands of developers may suddenly want to build apps for Tesla. So Tesla can sell apps. They can cost 99 cents, $50, or even $100 and more. As soon as the car can drive itself, Tesla can use it as a robo-taxi in the future. Musk has already said earlier that its own robo-taxi fleet will be built starting 2021. For me, as a Tesla owner, he says, this means, in theory, I could send my car to the Tesla robo-taxi fleet so that the car could earn money for me while I'm at work. You continue working while your car is driving around in the city or the nearby areas earning money for you. Because Tesla can access my data, this is very important and interesting, friends, because Tesla can access my data, they know exactly how, when, and where the car is being driven. This enables Tesla, for example, to offer tailor-made solutions such as car insurance that are cheaper because for example i drive less aggressively or use the safe autopilot more other manufacturers as well as insurance providers cannot do this because they cannot access this data for their cars but if you own a tesla they can access your data and tailor-made solutions uh, for your insurance price batteries will also offer completely different options in the future. The batteries themselves have a lifespan of maybe 500,000 miles. Afterwards, these batteries can even be used as electricity storage. Again, Tesla brings its chess pieces into positions, be it through its electric cars, software, solar cells, or huge electricity storage. In short, Elon Musk has innumerable ways to make money in the future from the Tesla company. Here's another question. In your opinion, will the German manufacturers even manage to get the swing toward e-cars and software? He says, the German manufacturers are way behind in the various areas. I would put the gap in autonomous driving at around five to seven years for electric cars between three and five years. No matter what branches of industry you have looked at in the past, when the disruption begins, around 90% of the previous players were no longer there after 10 years. Some went bankrupt, others were bought up, some withdrew from the business field. Let's compare the whole thing with the mobile phone market. Before the iPhone came out, Nokia was the top dog. In addition, other preview providers such as Samsung and BlackBerry, who is still there today and has a significant market share, I only see Samsung apply to the German manufacturers. This might mean that only Volkswagen remains in the future. Why Volkswagen? You can tell how difficult it is for the German manufacturers. Volkswagen was the only manufacturer to take this radical step and set up its own electrical platform. This is not the case with Daimler and BMW. No one has yet dared to take this radical step. And that even though BMW brought the i3 onto the market quite early on, a great car with an incredible number of innovations, sadly, the i3 car was neglected from the start. Is there still time for the German manufacturers to act? We have now reached the first tipping point. In other words, we have the first records in Germany in October for electric cars compared to the previous year. The proportion has increased from 8% to 365% with this growth rate of adopting electric cars, which sees a doubling of new registration for electric cars every two months, more than half of all new registrations in Germany will be electric cars by 2023. By registrations, he means electric car sales, which has gone from 8% to 365% in one month and doubling every two months. The second tipping point, he says, will be autonomous driving. In his opinion, German manufacturers haven't really understood that yet. And I don't know how much German manufacturers 
or even other Japanese manufacturers are doing in that regard. Well, friends, let me know what you think. I've been test driving many other cars and their autonomous driving is not there where Tesla is right now. Sometimes the best you can see is lane keeping, and which is not even perfect or similar things, but Tesla is way ahead and is playing a very smart chess game in my opinion. What is it in your opinion? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news analysis and electric vehicle analysis and ring the notification bells after you subscribe so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you everyone and see you soon in our next report.